we have a blog post um, that uh, Valentina has written uh, a year ago and um, hasn't been performing too well, as we can see. He has an average position of 10, and uh, there are um, a good potential in terms of impression if we look at uh, specifically the query conversational search. First thing first, we want to configure the agents by, by adding the, the word with key associated with uh, their knowledge graph. All right, here's my key. I'm adding the key, and now I can start. So what, what is happening behind the scene is that uh, the Worldlift agent is um, talking with the Worldlift uh, um, Content Analysis API, and it's um, extracting entities from the article itself uh, using the entities in the knowledge graph and entities that are present in, in Wikipedia. And, uh, and now we're going to dive deeper because we're going to ask uh, the agent to do the same analysis on the top ranking results for uh, the query conversational search. So here now the agent is uh, calling uh, once again another API and it's extracting uh, the top ranking results on Google.com for the query conversational search and uh, is going to extract out of each article uh, the list of uh, entities that are uh, relevant for this specific search intent. And as you can imagine, I'm looking at uh, understanding the content gap. Um, so this is the information that uh, it's missing in the article that Google might expect to rank for the query conversational search. So now we, we're actually asking the agent to reason and to spot for us the information gap. So the entities that are missing on, 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 the, on the article. We can see from here that, you know, there might be some chances of, you know, maybe adding mention and reference to concept like OpenAI. Um, there is maybe some potential to, to, to talk about, uh, um, you know, other platforms that could be also an angle. I'm not uh, particularly interested. Let's, let's try to dive deeper. We can try to do another analysis as, you know, the, the agent now knows the entities that are coming from our own knowledge graph. We can try to see, you know, if there is a, if there is a, a gap. This is interesting for us because it also kind of uh, provides us with, uh, with the idea of, you know, where we can add links back to the article that we want to improve. So we know that we have entities in our knowledge graph around content marketing, artificial intelligence, chatbots. And of course, we can, you know, kind of provide some, some additional input on, you know, um, Yeah, so, so for example, you know, we can suggest that you know, maybe, maybe natural language understanding could be also an entity that, you know, it's, it's missing. And, and it actually, you know, the agent is saying that it doesn't appear to be an entity that we have on our knowledge graph. And uh, at the same time, it's identified uh, behind the top ranking results, but it's not part of the article. So, you know, we could use it, but we do not have it inside the knowledge graph. And now I can kind of, you know, uh, focus on these, these two entities. Uh, one is not present in the knowledge graph. The other one, the, the other one is. Now, as, as I do have um, um, the entity for LLM, this will imply that we will uh, be able to add uh, some, some link back to the, to the article from uh, the entity that you know, introduces the concept of, of LLM. Now we're calling another API. This is the Content Expansion API. It's using my own content, so behind there is a, a retrieval augmented generation system that uses the content of the world of blog, and it's providing me with the potential expansion. Um, let's try to be more, more practical because I want to actually do this and see how it impacts the ranking. So I'm just going to... This is valuable because, of course, uh, I do have already the, the entities that I can link from and I also have the entities that I can annotate, you know, with this uh, um, additional expansion. All right. Um, so we, we've added um, the new content generated by Edge and Wirelift. Um, Valentina quickly review it, and now we have a new paragraph that you know expands on what is conversational search. We do have the annotation about large language model, so the entity that we add inside the knowledge graph, and then you know if we can see the entity itself, uh, it's describing the content, um, and um, and it's providing a widget that links back. So as I have. Uh, created a content expansion, I'm referencing, you know, this uh, additional entity that I detected uh, as missing from the information analysis gap that I did on the SERP. And now I'm using, again, WorldLift to create links, and this is kind of strengthening, again, 
the article because it's receiving links directly from the entity itself. If we look at uh, the JSON of DBI in the article now, uh, of course there is uh, you know the information about uh, uh, the article itself, but um, there are or also additional entity. There is the, the the reference to the large language model that uh, we have uh, added as result of the content expansion. Eight hours have passed, and um, I'm checking again the query. I am uh, logged in uh, in incognito on Chrome, and I can see a first change on on this uh, SERP. There is an image, and and this image is actually coming from from a blog post. And this is good because this will uh, drive clicks and it's in a prominent position. But then there is also this other image over here that it's, ap that it's appearing um, right from the image search. Now, if we look at um, the list of results, we have uh, Algolia number first, we have Google second position, then we have an article on Medium, uh, that is on uh, third position and then we have uh, an article uh, on fourth position and here we are we move to the fifth position let's now check what happened on on the google search console only a week ago the article on conversa conversational search in seo was ranking with an average position of 12.4 and yesterday it moved up to position 7.9 the experiment has been successful